Apparently. Sorry to interrupt the show. Iraq, can I please have the banana and the low fat cottage cheese that oh. I usually get? Mm -hmm. Thanks. Yeah. It's a new system. It's a great system, by the way. Yeah. Jimmy, Jimmy's not happy about the new system that we just became aware of. Yeah. Yes, yes. What happened? And, um, and apparently. We, we should discuss this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, uh, from now on, when I want food, um, I'm not allowed to text. Guess what I normally do? I'll usually just text Kenny and he'll talk to That's you. what I would do, yeah. He would ask Sal to get it because Sal is the guy that we trusted and he wouldn't fuck it up. But uh, I don't know what happened behind the scenes. But now Kenny's not allowed to ask the interns because I guess Sal didn't like going, only be the only going. So now we have to go through E-Rock. And then somebody went and told Gary and Gary oh. came down. So I don't, I'd love to know who snitched to Gary and like, who went to Gary. E-Rock, what do you know? Why do people have to drag those guys um, into I don't, I don't get I don't know. Here? Can't we just handle it internally amongst the show members? Uh, well, we don't want Gary involved in anything. <laughs> anything. So I want to know who went and ratted to Gary. <laughs> and I don't know why Sam's laughing. This is, these these are facts. Why is it funny? Because he runs the channel. But he's proven he time and time again that we don't want him involved. He just makes things more complicated, it's more funny. layers of shit. It's funny. Why is it funny? It's it's, it's real. I know it's real. That's why I it's speak so real funny. Shit. That's why it's so funny. Let's not make believe that he, he's truth. important to us. Yeah. What, what do you got, Iraq? Well, um, Sal was it was doing a lot of work here for the, for the show, production wise and what have you. Um, but he was also being the, the go-to guy for going and getting coffee, breakfast, all that other stuff. When we got some other uh, interns in here who were perfectly capable of doing so as, and uh, not screwing up the food orders, they weren't being used. So Sal got upset that he was in the middle of projects for, for Troy, for us, and, and you know stuff on the air, and the other interns weren't allowed to be um, going and getting your food and whatnot. So he complained. He talked to me. And I, and I spoke with Kenny. Past that point, he sp uh, Sal spoke with Travis about this same issue. And then from there, it was out of my hands. <clears throat> so who went and, ra who went and ratted to Gary? The buck. That I don't know, because I didn't speak to Gary. What happened? Well, who did? Why, why would anybody bring Gary? I'm not even shitting on Gary. But like, why, that's not necessary. No. Well, the problem was is that Kenny just wouldn't let any of the other interns... Uh, the reason Kenny wouldn't let other interns, uh, honestly, here's why. Because we've had a history of interns fucking up our food. They, and it sucks. Every time we have interns who fuck the food up, and then you usually find one guy mm -hmm. that you trust to do that who does it right. It might, for them, it's nothing. But for us, as on air. I want someone who's not going to fuck my food up and who I kind of trust to handle it. Not, it's not the most complicated shit, mm -hmm. but how many bits have we done on guys who just are incompetent and retarded and can't get the fucking food can't right? Can't get it right. And it's a timing issue also because uh, when the food gets here and it's, it's right, we know that uh, an hour goes by, it's break time. The worst thing is when the, it fucks up and then the food gets here and, and, and you're in the middle of the show... And it gets cold, or or we're eating on the air. It's just did we? It's got to work like clockwork. Did we try the new guys though? Before we realized they were incompetent, uh, we <laughs> we did after the fact, and uh, they've been they've been fine getting your food, getting your coffee. Okay, so who went to Gary? What was the, what was the purpose of that? Mm. Fucking snitching to Gary. Travis, what do you know? Anyone? <laughs> Anyone? I, I know. I know. That... There. That's the only reason I'm asking. Well, look. I mean, you know. All I heard was that uh, Sal was getting really frustrated um, being the only person to go out. He went to Eric because Eric's his, his intern boss. And I know that Eric spoke with Kenny. And then I know that it continued to happen. And Sal was frustrated that he was going out five times in a row without other interns going out at all. And, you know... We have new guys who are completely capable. Nobody's had any problems with these with these new guys. Oh boy! I'm not asking that. I understand that. I'm asking who went to Gary. And I went to Gary. Okay. Oh shit! Why? Because because the situation was not being taken care of on on Eric's end. Eric Eric did what he was asked to do, which was which was speak to Kenny. Um, I am not in charge of the interns. Because of things, mm -hmm. so <laughs> so so it goes from Eric to Gary. I am not involved at all. Okay, so then why would you go to Gary, not Eric, going to him? Not that that matters, but I'm just curious. That's just what I did. Okay, I had no. Terrific, good. Okay, just curious. What what what's the issue though? 
No issue whatsoever. None. I was just curious. Okay. So now I'll just order from you, Iraq, because... Good. No, that's not what you have to do. You can keep doing what you were I'm doing. I'm not texting you... Kenny. Why would I? That's how I do it on, on the air. I just text him, and, he, and when I want something, and he has somebody go and get it. It's just... And, and it's been working for the last, like, three weeks, right? Yeah, it's been fine. Right. And and this has been going on for the last three weeks. So, okay. so well, there's it's, no reason... It's a good thing you went to Gary and got it straightened out. Excellent. Okay. I, I, I guess we, we would have just um, let it continue. Or handle it yourself. We tried to handle it ourselves. Did Kenny muscle you or, or grab no, you? No, I didn't, I didn't have anything to do with Kenny because, the, like I said, this is not my department. Like, this doesn't concern me, and I've been told. Kenny, did you ignore to. what E-Rock told you? <clears throat> now, Travis just said we tried to handle ourselves. Could he just expound on that a little? Eric. Expound. Eric tried. Right. Oh, sorry, not but, me. Eric, did, what happened? Sal was frustrated that he had to do all the... The um, getting of food, right? Yeah, because so then you went to Kenny and said, what? and I spoke with Kenny, and Kenny had ex expressed to me that he liked Sal doing that job. He didn't want to, uh, you know, he didn't know the other guys. He didn't want your food and everything screwed up. And I had talked to Kenny. I said, look, they they haven't even really tried it, but they followed Sal. They know the routine. They know the orders. We can start using these other guys. A couple days go by, and then Sal comes to me again. The other guys are still not being sent. So I have, from that point on... I'm Kenny, why did you ignore that? Eric, let me refresh your recollection. Okay. Wouldn't it be more correct to say that the morning you told me about this nonsense, all right, I adhere to what you said, all right? And maybe, Travis, I'll refresh your recollection also, all right? Because not a few minutes after that, Jim wanted his second cup of coffee, Okay, and this makes me sound very needy. <laughs> I gave my credit card to Travis, and Travis, isn't it correct that you sent Sal for the coffee that morning? That is correct. Okay, mm. and not an hour after that happened, I'm getting a talking to. By right? who? By Gary. Oof. And then I went to Eric, and I asked Eric who the little tattletale snitch was. And Eric, who did you tell me it was? I told you that Sal had talked to me, and Sal was the one complaining about this. No. I asked you who was the tattletale snitch to Gary, and who did you say it was? I don't know. You're not going to no, get around. No, you do oh, know, oh, Hold on, hold on. You're not going to get around this because Kenny was a detective. <laughs> I'm not trying to. You're making it worse. Just answer his question. I'm trying to here. He's not I gonna... know you're trying to, but don't try. Just do it. You know the answer. You said it already. You're, wait, you're asking who went to Gary and Travis went to Gary. No, 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 no. Listen, don't, don't try to fucking deflect and convolute oh God, this thing. You understand perfectly, all right? After I got my talking to, I asked you who the little fucking cheese eater was, and who did you <laughs> tell me it was? It's 1955. What are you saying? I did. Eric, all right, what? stop playing stupid. You're not that Shit. dumb. Kenny, I don't care about any of this. I'm right, trying to work care, with you here Just on tell this. the truth. You don't want to say because the guy's standing right next to you. I said Sal early and you said no. no. Was that Iraq? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sound like a Iraq girl. Heated, <laughs> I, look, I'm not trying to cause a fucking problem here. I tried to defuse everything because this is bullshit. Over oh. who gets your food. I've seen interns fuck shit up. And I know these other two guys that we have here wouldn't have been a problem because they're not idiots. Hold on. Let's stop right there. I like this. I like this version of E-Rock. I'm not trying to w fuck with Kenny Wouldn't it be fair to say, amount. Eric? Yeah. That when the new interns started going for the talent food, they made mistakes? I uh, don't... Well, well, they didn't have napkins or something. It was something really Okay, small. that was one mistake. In, in Kenny's world, that's a big mistake, by the way. Okay. Just so people know. Well, then, you know what, Kenny? I don't remember there. the other mistake. Please no, you do me. remember. You just don't want to say. No napkins? Because no, I, I don't think about this stuff. What, they that, came back with no napkins? Depth. Don't we have napkins around here, though? Oh, we have paper towels. And that's not good enough?
No, they'll suffice, but, but we need Nazis. Towel. Yeah. Okay. All right. And what the, was the, the second one? <laughs> I don't know. It's probably like there wasn't a spoon or, or a cup of ice didn't have a right. lid on it or something. But the bottom line is they made mistakes. That's why one intern who had a position of honor and trust turned out to be a little crybaby. Where's Sal today? Sal's in here. So uh, Sal, get on mic, man. <clears throat> come here. Explain oh, from your uh, you want point. Want him in there or here? Yeah, you can come in here. Right, no, 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 no. Keep him in there. Sal, stay here. Stay no, here. I don't care. I was just fucking around. All right, go in. Happy <laughs> <laughs> rock. I just want to hear in uh, Sal's words He's what coming. was going on. Okay. Hello, Sal. Morning. Nick should have won that game last night, huh? <laughs> Here comes the actually, prima donna. I, I, I mean, I, here comes Sal. <laughs> you see Pierce's shot at the end? I, the actually, prima I only donna. saw the highlights. I didn't get to actually watch the game. Oh, you're not a fan then. I know. I'm not All right, fan. so what, what's uh, happening here? What happened? It, I, I, I don't know. Just, I just be honest. I don't care. No, I mean, everything Everything that was said so far is completely honest. So it's there's there's nothing to, to straighten out. I mean, if Eric wanted to say that I was the one who went to Gary, whatever, it's... Eric's done enough for me to to help me over the time I've been here, so it's it's fine. How much time? Were Wait, you did spending? you go to Gary? I didn't. No, I already said I went to Gary. Oh, because yeah, the Travis situation wasn't Gary. being taken. How much care time of. were you spending going? And there's nothing and that I can food. do. Honestly, there are days where I I probably did like seven runs, and then I would still have the work that was given to me prior to then to to complete. It. And then it's like, well, why wasn't this done? It's like, well, let's see. I I haven't sat down since you know I got here at five thirty. It's nine o'clock. You know what I mean? So. Oh, well, Kenny, would you like to retort? Well, I'm still confused by the timeline if Travis says he went to Gary. I was wondering when that was. I don't have a specific date. I'm sorry. All right, but do you, do you recall the morning when you came to get my credit card for Jimmy's second cup of coffee? Yes, I do. And I said, Eric gave me a talking to and Sal can't go? Yes, I do. Okay. And then, and then you sent Sal anyway, and then yes, I did. not an hour later, I got my talking to by Gary, and then I brought that to your attention. Yes. And then you did the right thing and stood up, and you told me that you were going to take the blame. Well, there was no blame to take. I sent oh. Sal, and, and I told Gary that. All right. So is that the time you're talking about, that you went to Gary, no, or I was believe it the time before that? I believe I told him the day before. Okay, and as a result of that, what happened? As a result of, of my talking to Gary? Yeah. I, I, think, I think Gary had a talking with you, right? Well, Eric had a talk to me first. Okay, well, then that's what happened. But, but no, I, look, I told you that, that you, you erroneously got blamed for, or, or it was insinuated that you sent Sal after you were told not to. Correct. And you can ask Gary, I told Gary... I sent Sal because we had nobody else. Then why did Gary go and talk to Kenny? Or, that was or... before. Before what? Wait, it sounds like this thing could have been solved uh, in, internally, but um, Kenny kept sending Sal after no, what that's Iraq incorrect. said. That's oh, incorrect. Okay. Oh, shit. Iraq, is that true or false? Um, I spoke with Kenny. But... <laughs> yeah, because Sal did come complain a second time after that. Because after I spoke with Kenny, and then Sal had said that he was still being sent on food runs. And Kenny, you didn't want to take a chance with the new guys? No, no, it, that's incorrect. Once Eric told me mm -hmm. that somebody cried about being mistreated. Sal, he's in the room. I, I, was, I was bawling in the office, dude. I was just, I couldn't take it. <laughs> Obviously. Oh, boy. So Sal was crying like a little bit, <laughs> according to Kenny, but Sal is saying differently. <laughs> yeah, maybe not literally, but figuratively. Figuratively, okay. <laughs> Were you crying like a bitch, Sal? I was. It was terrible. You dude. just didn't want to do seven, what, food runs a look, day? Look, I, at the end of the day, yes, I'm, I'm honored and I'm flattered that I was able to be accepted by Kenny and took on this privilege of being able to get you guys stuff and and rightfully so like if you guys <laughs> sarcastic no no, no i'm was not being sarcastic no I'm, I'm being serious if if you guys want something there's absolutely no fucking reason in this world why any of you guys shouldn't get it and get it correct and get it as fucking humanly as fast as possible well right. there obviously is because you complained about it oh well because oh, all right 
but so he just wanted uh, by to go the way, less. Any, anybody in management, I'm telling you right now, yeah, we are we are instigating this discussion on air. So I don't want to hear anybody in fucking management come and tell me, well, that kind of thing. This is on air and oh, it's instigated yeah. by us to Please. be discussed on air. Because that shit that festers behind the scenes, it, it winds up blowing up eventually in one way or the other. So we are bringing this to the air. Yeah. So it, nobody in management go and complain because Kenny and Sal are fucking doing this on the air. This was me. I instigated this. Yeah, because I was also once told I'm not allowed to stir shit up on the radio. If there's a problem, I have to well, tell the bosses. Well, that's why I don't have any respect for Gary. It, it wasn't Gary, Gary that told him that. Well, I've heard it. I've heard it over the years. Gary doesn't want to be fodder for this radio show, and I told him the other day that he needs to quit if he doesn't want to be fodder for the radio show. I guess I should bring that up today. Wow. I said because over the, who said wow? I did. <laughs> Jesus, Sam, what's wrong with you, you corporate fucking douche? I, Start wearing a tie. You really What's should. wrong with you? And then tie Why the other is that a, a wow? <laughs> Why is that a wow? It's not a bad. I'm not. It's not a bad wow. It's just like wow. I've been doing radio since 18. I don't. I don't need guys like Gary in my life. I know, but and I told him, I go look. Everyone that has ever uh, worked for the Opie and Anthony show, peripheral, in studio, what have you, has been fodder for our show. That's why we've been successful. One of the reasons. And he's trying to uh, uh, be part of this whole thing and not be fodder. And I told him it's impossible and that he should quit. I agree with you 100%. And I appreciate I li I agree with you. But generally in Gary's life, I'm assuming not a lot of people have been so blatant about their disapproval of his job, which he's, is why I think he, it's funny. He, he's the wrong guy. <laughs> yeah. I told him to his face. Yeah. And I told him tough shit. I go, tough shit. You got, <laughs> here's your decision. You can continue working for the channel. I don't want you to, but at least, al <laughs> oh, at least allow us to, <laughs> to use, right. at least allow us to, to, to discuss you uh, openly on the show. But it's not about me. No. It's about the whole food thing. And look, I don't but consider I heard Sam's little stupid wow in the background. <laughs> Believe me, I don't consider getting our food to be an honor. It's not. It's we're not that no, arrogant. No, it's a I, no, I, I'm, I'm job. speaking to what anybody says. It's a horrible, thankless. Job. I just don't like my I think food getting honor. fucked up, and it's been fucked up enough times right. over the years. Exactly. When you find someone that does it right. You just want that person to do it because I want to eat. Believe me, I don't look at it like it's the equivalent of fucking uh, bringing JFK his coffee in the morning. Well, I understand but, that. But, Kenny, it is an honor, right, in the end? It sure is, G.H. <laughs> oh, God. Look. <laughs> 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 so where are we at? Sal just didn't want to go six, seven times a morning. Well, it, it's just I, I understand also, a little bit. I was also doing additional work. It's not like I was just Who's work? getting... I mean, the, the shows work. Uh, yeah, there's there's certainly a lot of production. I mean, I've had close to fifty something productions get on air, and it, like that doesn't happen that easily. I don't have that much time to work on this stuff. And, so, and I think Travis went to Gary because he had, he felt like he had no no well, choice. I, I can't do anything. No, I know you felt like you had no choice because you thought E Rock was taking care of the situation. Yeah. By saying, "Look, Sal doesn't want to do it as much, so Kenny, you, you got to like give these but, new guys a chance." Well, my question is, I'm just throwing the facts if, out if, there. If Kenny, this I'm just asking, if mm -hmm. Kenny, uh, why why did Gary talk to Kenny after he had given the and said to you like, "Hey, look, give it Sal can't go, give it to somebody else," and you gave it to Sal? Why did Gary still come? That, to that's Kenny? a good point to clarify, Jim. If if Eric. Who who tasked Eric to speak to me if Gary was going to speak to me also? Oh, shit, Eric. Eric, Iraq, comment, comment, question? What? Um, no, I, I have to talk to Kenny because I, I'm in charge of the interns, so when they have problems, and it, it's starting to get to the point where, like, this is really going to escalate if we don't do something about it, I have to talk to Kenny. And you feel like Kenny didn't hear you because he continued to use Sal? That's not true. I'm maintain. asking E Rock though, he, no, I, from where he sits, and then you could uh, certainly say it's not well, true. The, I know one time I talked with Kenny, he wasn't happy about it, but he he, he made his point, um, which is what you guys have been saying. When you find somebody good to, who handles your stuff and doesn't screw it up, that's the guy we use. Understood. But Sal had been doing more and more production and turnaround stuff that was getting on the air, and we had two other guys who aren't idiots. Perfect, perfectly capable of doing the same thing. From I said, Kenny, we got to start using these other guys. <laughs> Kenny did not want to use these other guys. Oh, boy, Kenny. That's but what he's saying. I spoke with him, and I, I thought everything was fine. And then all of a sudden, you know, I, I hear from Sal again. Sal's getting pissed off because he's still going on food runs. 
and the other guys I, aren't being used. And can I just say one thing? I, I said I would still go for food runs. It's not like I won't do them at all. I'm too much of a fucking dickhead prima donna to not go. You just just reduce do it, it a little bit. Like, I can't go out seven times and still get anything and a lot else of, done. Uh, it was assumed you went to Gary, but you did not. No, I didn't. And and look, I'm honestly, I honestly don't give a shit that Eric said that I went to Gary. Because, like I said, Eric's helped me out so much over this time. Well, why so. would Eric lie? I, that's that's he's not me, so I can't I can't. Speak so is Eric a liar? I'm not calling Eric a liar. I'm just saying that it's fine. I said it's fine, and because I'm just an intern, I'm a pissing whipping boy. That Eric, are you a liar? I'm not lying. I'm not I don't. No, I don't no. think Sal went to Gary. I think he probably went to either Iraq or Travis, and Travis saying he went to Gary. <clears throat> so I, I, I already said I did. Then I Eric, if that wasn't true, why would you tell me that Sal was the one that told Gary? Right now, because I I said. When you were asking earlier, I said, Travis, no, Sal, no. I said, is it me? And you said, no. And he said, he's standing next to you. I said, Sal. I said Sal's name already. No, we're not talking about today. Yeah. <laughs> All right? <laughs> okay. A morning, I confronted you. <laughs> okay. Why did you tell me it was Sal if that was, in fact, not true? At that time, I probably thought it was Sal because that morning I was told that I had to speak to you and that all the intern food orders and everything had to be asked to uh, you had to ask you just me to said do you that. were told you had to speak to me told by whom by Gary and Gary didn't tell you who went to him not so at that my point. thing is this Kenny can't tell an intern we need something that has to go through you era which right. I, that is ridiculous of course, of course it's ridiculous my span of control of course it's ridiculous. and I, for the fact that I had to have that conversation with Kenny was ridiculous. But the fact is that if, if I text Kenny something, he's got to go to you. It's just so stupid and fucking corporate and idiotic. Well, that's dumb Gary. <laughs> exactly. Sam, shut up. It's funny. Let me be, be me. It's funny. <laughs> it is dumb Gary, though. It's another layer of bullshit that we don't need. All right, well, I, can, can I just say one thing? Gary should have said, all right, well, let's fucking figure this out. I, I'd like to make up with Kenny. I, I'd like to just because this is probably boring to everybody to be honest. Oh, oh no, 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 no! Oh, oh yeah. now you're you, saying you'd be boring on no. top Maybe, of everything. No, I'm not. Maybe if he wasn't grabbing food, he would understand radio a little more. This is what they call the gold. <laughs> yeah. You'd be surprised I, I guess, how many people love. I, I oh, just, yeah. I guess, I don't find myself interesting on air. I'd much rather be doing stuff behind the scenes. Anyway, I'd like to make oh. up with Kenny. I'd like to be everything would be cool again with naked, me, and Kenny. Naked man hugs. I just a handshake. It's great. It's going to be just like it was at the beginning. I'll talk to Kenny. I know how to talk to Kenny. I know. I, I really would because I was also told I'm not allowed to speak to Kenny, and that's just. Oh, who told you you're not allowed yeah, to speak to Kenny? Who said that? Uh, Eric said I'm not allowed to speak to Kenny. Eric. So I was I was requested. <laughs> that to makes to great working yeah. environments. Uh... Why is it so allowed? To talk? Well, he's no, not allowed to talk. Weeks, by the way. Why? Why is he not allowed to talk? <laughs> because to Kenny? I was requested um, to inform Sal that he's not to speak to him or make eye contact or be in his what? general direction. Who said that? Kenny, okay. Kenny offered that request. <laughs> so, like I said, I'd like to be able to look at Kenny. I'd like to be able to, to shake his hand, say good Kenny, morning to him. Kenny, why don't you want Sal to look at you? Because you don't like me. Why don't you like Sal? I don't like tattletale rats. <laughs> well, the, uh, so this was after the tattletaling? Yes. But he didn't really tattletale in the end. Well, Eric said he did, he so what up, am I supposed to believe? It seems so like he I brought up a concern to his superior, which, believe it or not, um, <laughs> which is the most amazing part of this, uh, E-Rock is his boss. <laughs> so, so he wasn't the guy that went to Gary. He was going to suck it up. Well, that, uh, I, w I was under the false belief, mm. because I was told by Eric <laughs> that Sal was the one. I know it was Sal all along. It wasn't Bratzini. <laughs> Bratzini. So, <or> Bratzini. <laughs> Bratzini. Yeah. So um, you don't have any issue with Sal talking to Iraq because that's his superior. So if he has an issue, he can't, you know. Yeah, that, that's, that's got nothing to do with me. Okay. So where are we at? We got to, like, move on to something. Yeah. Uh, I'd, I'd like to make up with Kenny. And, and is he allowed to look at you, Ken? Now that it's you know, up to you. Now that you got all the facts, is Sal allowed to actually look at you in the hallway? Ask Eric. Eric? <laughs> uh, I would say yes, but it's, it's really up to Kenny at this point. Well, this whole thing, if he's not allowed to talk to an intern, because it, it, it could be an HR, like, what the fuck is that? Wait, who said no, that? I, th I think it was Kenny's HR. request. Oh, Kenny just didn't, didn't no, want, no, 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 no. Kenny just didn't no, want No, Kenny's to. not allowed to ask the interns to get us. Correct. Because when I had my talking to... 
the, the talking to was to nip this in the bud before it became an HR issue. So, is this is right? <laughs> Whenever you get these fucking guys involved down the it's wall, it's never just good. a fucking right. problem. We wash our own dirty laundry, Eric. Dirty? Yes. Dirty. Dirty. Oh, that dirty laundry. Dimmy. Was that a mispronounce or is that an old cop thing? No, it's no. mispronounced. That was dirty. I can't speak. Our own dirty. <laughs> dirty laundry. Dirty. All right. Travis felt like you know it wasn't being done internally, so he went to Gary. The only reason, let me be incredibly specific here, that I that I went to my superior was because Eric told me that he had talked to Kenny and that Kenny was still sending Sal. So to me, Eric was not getting the job done. Eric, Eric's. Oh. Well, well. well let, let me ask you this, Travis. Eric. As the boss of the show, the executive producer. You, you didn't consider coming to me before you went to Gary? Kenny, I have no control over the interns, and I have been specifically told to stay out of all intern affairs. But did you talk to Kenny first? No, I didn't. And tell him, look, I'm going to have to go to Gary with this? No. Yeah, that's, that was the question. Why didn't you consider that? You just said you have no control over intern affairs, mm -hmm. but yet you still went to Gary over an intern affair. I went to Gary to tell him about the situation that Eric had brought to me. Right. Which you could just easily come to me. Well, first. Travis is a bit sen sensitive when it comes to interns. You should, yeah, but you should have, uh, if you're going to go to Gary, the you should interns have told Kenny the ones that are sensitive. <laughs> first, you know, told them. not, though. Yeah, well, I don't know. There's something bugs me about that. Well, okay, how about this? If, if Eric is in charge of the interns and, and Eric asks for for you know sal's workload to be lowered then then that's that's eric's you know that's eric's decision and and it should be respected okay and if it's not respected then you don't talk to kenny you just go to gary per perhaps i made an error in judgment maybe i should have gone to kenny i am uh choose your words I, I'm very uh, hesitant about anything that has to do with interns after mm. um, my situation. I understand that. <laughs> situation. <laughs> wow. So, so maybe if this were to happen again, I, I would think uh, differently. But You didn't want an intern I, I, I did problem I, to get out no, of hand, obviously. I, I, I did. Because of what might have happened in the past. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, where where are we now? Which still <laughs> haunts me. It's still a bit uh, raw. Like yes, you story. cannot call me the executive producer. Ouch. <clears throat> mm. We good now? <laughs> I don't have a problem with anyone. That. Jimmy, where are you at now? Uh, and Jim, I don't think you should either because you, I mean, the last three weeks, everything's been fine, right? My only issue is just all this Weasley behind the shits. I just hate it. I just hate it. See, we're untouchable, though. These guys get a lot of fucking heat every day. We're not untouchable, even. You know what I mean? Like, I know I can get oh, trouble. I'm I, I don't think I am. I, I'm I know so I, untouchable. I can get shit. Because like, even if they say, you know what? Fuck you. You're out. I'm still untouchable. But these guys have to fucking, you know, still try to get their careers together. And stuff. I understand that. They get a lot of fucking mm. heat behind the and scenes. And that's my problem. Is why it, and that's why it leads to what you're hearing today. Because these guys get beat up all the fucking time. All this fucking... Why, why would anybody bring him into it? There's no reason. And I'm not knocking... I'm really not shit... If I was shit on Gary, I'd shit on him and I'd have no problem with that. But it's not even about me judging that guy. It's simply why even... There's no reason to go down the hall. Mm. Well, I, I understand from a fundamental... Uh, view but i know what happens to these guys when we're not here it's a fucking nightmare they get in trouble for s stuff we bring up on the air because they can't talk and to that's us another because like, they can't talk to us like that they know we're not going to no. deal with that shit mm -mm. Uh. And, uh, incidentally that's another thing with down the hall i don't like guys being told what they can talk about on air and what they can't be talk talk about on air mm -hmm. yeah that's what i'm saying yeah i, but I that's don't the like shit that, that goes all. on all the fucking time I think we're a good judge. They have sat down probably the entire staff at this point, probably, and basically told them, do not stir the shit on air. 
And this is a fucking which, five, which, 20 hour a week radio show. Which, which yeah. shows me, obviously, yeah. going back to my Gary point, that he doesn't get it and he should fucking move on. The company, he, the, I, I heard the company gave him another promotion anyway, so fucking do the music thing. Oh, and boy. we'll be good without you, to be honest with you. Oh, boy. Because if you don't understand that we got to stir the, sh the shit, because it makes good away. radio, I, I, I have no. I have. No use for you in my life. And nobody down the hall likes the on air. Like, like it's not even just Garrett. It's other guys, too, who just don't like it. I know. And it's like, you guys got to mm. understand, you have no say in what we complain about on the but air. You see what they do? They sit these guys down in offices, and, you know, they're in, they're in a different place in their lives and their careers, and they put pressure on them and go, look, we oh. don't want you stirring the shit up. Well, we don't work for the Opie and Anthony show. No, I know. So that's where a lot of this comes from. They get fucking beat up. I, I actually right. agree with Jimmy, but I'm just trying to explain where it comes no, from. No, no, I understand that. You know, I've heard from these guys, uh, all of them, personally, that, look, these guys beat the crap out of us and tell us not to stir the shit. Mm. Why, why wouldn't you want to stir the shit? It makes way better radio than talking about some who gives a fuck story in the news. Yeah, this stuff happens. And right. it's like the only way to... I, I like to bring it up on the air. It's, I prefer it to be fucking hashed out and this way it doesn't build up into other situations that just wind up getting out of control and there's so much fucking resentment and hatred built up behind the scenes. It just, it, you know, right. it's irreparable. So I, th I think Gary needs to step down. <laughs> Would be a, a, a very good start. A very good start. And get someone that, you know... Doesn't mind being made fun of on the air and understands what the show is all about. Right. I say we start there. Rob will allow it to continue to be an intern. He's not an intern. Because he's learning. Someday he's going to be good. It's just disrespectful. Any, any final thoughts here? I hope Sal could look at Kenny. That's my biggest Somebody concern. Somebody Twittered me, diva cunts, get your own breakfast. <laughs> Sir, it's not an option. No, it's not. Like, you guys are doing your fucking job, and you should get anything you want at that moment. So, um, I, I completely understand. It makes it tough to just leave and get breakfast. I got breakfast. I got cereal right there. <laughs> Someone wrote, uh, it all went downhill after English Bob left. <laughs> English Bob. 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 British, Whatever, British Bob, right? British Bob. All right. Kenny, final thoughts? Eric? I'm happy to be here. I love you guys. N not so much Travis, E-Rock, and Sal, though, huh, at this point? No, like, we can all get along. <laughs> Whose app is that? I don't know. This... This thing stinks. <laughs> <laughs> we'll explain what that next. What fucking stupid shit thing is this? Can we explain that next? Because oh. that's going to be another 20 minutes, please. please. All right. That's fucking, he's I, still a useless fucking hunk of shit. I see, <laughs> I see you set it up on your iPhone. We'll explain that. I trying. That'll be a good tease, ho hopefully for the people that didn't fucking tune us Fucking Einstein. Eric, incompetent? Or... Yes. Eric is <laughs> incompetent. <laughs> Oh, wow. Eric, you all right? How you were uh, represented here today? I'm fine with that, and I think uh, we should send Rob for food. Cross? It's not a bad idea. What else does he do? What does he do between 6 and 10 that he can't get his food, Sam? Seriously. Rob's the intern. Well, between 6 and 10 or by the time he gets here until 10? Exactly. He listens to the show. He's monitoring, making sure everything's okay, what? checking the stop sets. Make what, sure you, what do you mean he's monitoring? What is it? He, we got this. Relax. Go get us some fucking food. <laughs> he's got to make sure the spots are in the right spot. I don't know what these what? guys do. The Someone explain it to me someday. He's got to make sure the advertisements are in the right. And Rob, I swear to you, I'm not trashing you. You're going to be a really good like manager someday. Uh, you, you are. That's Why? Trashing. That's not a compliment. I guess it's a compliment. He's still green. Comparatively. But he's been in the business for, I mean, for years. Oh, Terrible. <laughs> it's the worst app. What does it? What does ever. that thing do? Well, it's, uh, it's supposed to take some kind of 360 picture, and it stinks. I will explain it after the break. Yeah. That crap. So we're we're all good. We're all good. Travis, you're good. Jimmy, I'm, you're I'm good. Fine. Kenny, yes, everyone. Sir. Jimmy, thumbs up by uh, yes. for Jimmy. Okay. This. All right, what's the problem? Oh, boy. What's the problem? What's the, the problem? The emperor is not happy with his coffee. Oh, no. Are we going to have to break into... Uh... Jim Norton. Norton. Coffee Diva. Coffee Diva.
Diva. Look at that cup. What, 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 what brand is on that cup? I don't know. Um, it doesn't taste good. I don't like it. Where do we get our coffee every day? I like Starbucks. I like Starbucks. And I don't like supporting the savages, savages. that run most of these delis. You're no, insane. Yup. You yep. betcha. You might be right. Yeah. Want to see this? You want to taste this? Oh, oh, oh. Wow, that's really nice. What, what, what? Throw it against the wall. I'm not going to I'm a diva. I'm on Starbucks coffee. <laughs> You betcha. Jim Norton. Norton. Coffee Diva. Coffee Diva. I know Starbucks is a big world order type of thing. But at least they're not funding terrorism. Man, oh man. Sal, where on earth? Where where in the blue hell, Sal, Salvador. do you think you're going? You should have seen. E-Rock, did you see yeah. how quick Sal went for that door? He I ran. saw it. Where in the shit, San uh, Sal, do you think you're going? Oh, Sal, uh, can you give me a... Uh, Coffee at Dunkin' Donuts? Listen. Don't, don't give me the fingers, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Of all days, <laughs> here on the Opie and Anthony Show, my name is Sam Roberts. I couldn't have been more happy today that all intern responsibilities have been completely taken away from me. You Eric, were laughing. I love it. I, uh, you, Eric, were at the center of this. Travis was there. Why? Why, first of all... Why were the intern responsibilities taken away from me? I don't understand that. I never did. Um, well, it was... Uh, did it have to do with the people I was hiring? Um, the tards? No, that <laughs> that became secondary. But uh, just uh, associations with other things, they just decided to uh, wipe the slate hmm. clean, and they said, well, he's the only one that hasn't had anything to do with them, so you well, is you. in charge. Yeah, or is the last intern you hired, all he could say is, I like blue. <laughs> yeah, that probably had something to do with it. My, I wouldn't have picked, like, Sal wouldn't have been one of my picks. You understand that. <laughs> Eric probably would have. Oh, come on. <laughs> Eric, yeah. You would have, Eric, you're closer <laughs> along right. with uh, one of my picks. Uh, Tarditos. <laughs> um, so, first of all, E-Rock. Yeah. I think, well, this makes it very clear. Because a couple of weeks ago, it was more than a couple of weeks ago. It was probably like three weeks ago. Club Soda Kenny called into the after show. And I remember this. Oh, yeah. He said... At least he's not a fucking cheese eater. Yeah. About whoever I was talking about. I don't remember who I was talking about. But he said at least he's not a fucking cheese eater. And that came out of nowhere. And I was like, w what? And I said, I'm assuming at some point we'll figure out what you meant by that. Obviously, this had to have all been going down on that day. Um, when he said, obviously, cheese eater refers to rat. And uh, <laughs> the controversy came up on the show today that uh, Kenny had been asking Sal to run all the talent's food errands because Sal is the most responsible one. And uh, Sal took umbrage with it because, number one, he was watching other interns just sit around and not do food orders. And, number, and this was no fault of their own. It's who was being asked. And number two, he was also had graduated, we'll say, to the point where he was doing a, a lot of production work, a lot of other show work, that he said wasn't getting done because he was on food orders all the time. Yeah, less food runs. He d he earned the re earned the responsibility. That's right, Roland. Um, yeah. And <laughs> yeah, you got one. So what happened was, uh, Sal, first tell me, that day, weeks ago, I guess it must have been three weeks ago because that's the time frame that everybody's been talking about here, uh. when Kenny said, uh, at least he's not a cheese eater. Did you know what he was referring to? Yeah, I asked you, you. Did I asked you after we left the after show, and I said, "Did you pick up on what Kenny said?" And he said, "Yeah, he was referring to you." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, um, he thought that you had gone to management over all this. Of course, of course, he would, because he's going to naturally be hostile towards me to begin with. You, Kenny's naturally hostile towards no, you. No, no, no. He's if, if he if he saw that I had a problem with him, right. of course, he's naturally going to think that I was going to go to. Someone who's way, way above me and, and bring up such a minor bullshit issue. Were you getting annoyed, though, feeling like you were, like, the premium intern and seeing, like, the other interns not – like, like did it, were you being asked to do more work simply because you were better at it? Well, yeah, I think that's that's the, almost the sign of your internship is going well is that, you know – you do you do good work. We're going to give you more work now. You, you, the only reward is more work in the end. But then you realize you're stuck doing menial things that the other interns haven't even gotten a chance well, to do. No, like like I said earlier, 
ONA, if and Jimmy, if anybody I guess comes in, if they want something, they should absolutely fucking get it ASAP. I and if the, and it, should be, with, and it should be correct with Gasa, if I need coffee for guests, how it runs and does it? Hang on, hotline call. You're on after Opie and Anthony live. Yeah, who do you think it is? Club soda. <laughs> You know, let's set the record straight, all right? And let's be perfectly clear about this. I didn't think anything. Okay. I, I don't assume. I get my facts before I act. I was told who was the fucking rat, all right? So let that person admit that they fucking lied. So, Eric, you told Kenny that Sal went to management over this, right? I told, yes, and I said, Kenny, I told Kenny that uh, Sal was the one who was complaining about all of Did this. Did you lie when you said he went to management, or were you misinformed? No, because at that time in the morning, I didn't know. Because when I got spoken to, Sal had gone from me, had gone to Travis, yeah. and then when somebody, when management came and talked to me, then I was like, well, you know, Sal complained. I told Kenny straight out so that this an, is what was going the on. The problem was it was an assumption. And at that point. Right. Because I got spoken to. So, Kenny, so you were just going based think? on the information that you were given. Yeah, why would I have any reason not to believe him? I asked him a direct question. He gave me an answer. So, either he lied now or he's fucking backtracking to cover his ass. No, it's not either one, one or the other. It was that's what I was. Uh, that's what I believed at the time. When you asked me about this, I told you straight out. Nobody was lying to you. It seems like a reasonable assumption. You there, Kenny? Oh, yeah, I'm here. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm just relishing in the fact that look what happens when you assume. I get my facts before I act. I asked you, you answered me, and then I proceeded. Uh, that was, uh, I will say, Eric, on this one, that was an assumption, correct? At that point, yes. Yes. And now you know that, when did you find out that, how, that, Travis had gone to Gary because he was trying to figure out how to get to the bottom of this, this and not Sal. Later on, but at that point, th this was the guidelines that were put in place. So, you know what? That's what we had to work with. Mm -hmm. So, Kenny had to come talk to me. I, I was told that, and then I delegated well, it to the interns. I understand. When did you find out that Sal did not go talk to management? I, you know, sometime after that, that day's show. Maybe within the next day or two, somewhere around there. It so, wasn't that long, but at that point, but, like, it, it, it wasn't didn't dawn on me that this was a huge right. fucking problem. Like, it wasn't new information Sam, today. Yeah? Sam? Yeah. Sam? Yeah. Sorry to interrupt, but could we maybe discuss this after Kenny drops me off? <laughs> <laughs> Is it making... Thank you, LB. I appreciate it. Well, well, he first of all, he almost rear-ended a cab because he was looking for his phone when you guys started discussing this. He, I swear to you, I've never seen anyone swerve like he did to avoid an accident. And then he almost ran over a horse. So could we <laughs> maybe, maybe give me, I don't know, I'll be home in seven minutes and then you can bring this back up and, and then Kenny can call in again because I'm a little scared. I liked your observation today when he was going back and forth with Eric, with Erock, and you said Erock. You're not going to win this. Kenny is a detective. <laughs> oh, I'm glad someone picked up on that. He will get the answers. Of course. Kenny always gets uh, to the bottom of things. Kenny, That's do, why we love him. Does Kenny relish in, in, in this type of atmosphere because he can use the detective skills again? Uh, I guess, but not on the way home today. You got him very excited. <laughs> He didn't know where his phone was, and he's like, you know what? Screw driving. I need to find my phone. Well, I have to believe that Kenny, this is, this does excite Kenny, because he doesn't get to break out those old interrogation room skills very often. Now, Sam, what excites me is I don't want to be misrepresented. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, we all get that. Kenny feels like he was being misrepresented, so obviously he had to call in. Believe me, because I can do a lot of things to get myself in really? trouble. Really? It's not. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just yellow. All right. <laughs> um, I, I, can, I can do a lot of things to get myself in trouble on my own. I yeah. don't need anybody's help. When, you, when this stuff comes up, do you enjoy the process of arguing your case, though, because you get to use, you get to be the detective again? No, I'm a has-been. <laughs> and I take no pleasure in, 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 you know, pointing out people's faults to themselves. You don't? You don't take a little bit of pleasure in that? Sam. 
Yeah. He can't multitask. He can't drive <laughs> and argue at the same time. When are you going to understand what I'm trying to say here today? Opie, was that a yellow light or was that a red light? It was, I would go red. It was, it was close enough to red that you would have stopped. Uh, yes. <laughs> and I go through stuff all the time. Well, I mean, I, I want to talk about this, but your safety is paramount to me. Uh, you can continue. It was more of a joke, I guess. Thank but, God. But the horse thing wasn't a joke, and the rear ending of the cab was absolutely not a joke. How but, close you did know, you... I love, I love to drive distracted. How close did you come to running over a horse? Uh, pretty close. <laughs> I think I think we almost nipped its uh, little ankle. What's more dangerous, driving with Kenny... Huh? Ankles. Do the horses have ankles? I don't know. Because I think we almost took down an ankle. Well, go ahead, Sam. What? What's more dangerous, driving with Kenny when he's on the phone and in an excited state, or driving with Kenny when he's dozing off? <laughs> that bulk <bolt> experience. <laughs> <laughs> the dozing off is quite scary. It is. Nothing, nothing better than doing the exact same route uh, to work for the last, what, seven years. And him missing a turn because he's a bit sleepy or asleep. <laughs> yeah. And that has happened a few times. And or I have to go, Kenny, 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 left, left. Or asleep? He almost ran over an old guy and his help. And his walker. And his walker. That was close, too. Well, he's agitated. No, I do very well under pressure. Are you? Ag does this agitate you, this, this thing that's going on here, Kenny? Well, yeah, when, when you said, like, Kenny thought, I wanted to set the record straight. Because Kenny doesn't think. Nobody cares what Kenny thinks. We all know Kenny doesn't think. Mo most of us felt like you didn't have the ability to think. That's what we're saying here yeah. today. You're just a thought processor. I mean, a, a, a fact processor. We like to call him a cyborg. <laughs> yes. He just Information is input, and then output is whatever the result of the information is. Exactly. Right. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll watch our tongues then. I'll explain that to you later, Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a safe trip home. Well, I'm home now. Yeah, he's just pulling up. The oh. hell ride is over now. Thank God. Thank God. I'm I'm really I'm thankful not only for Obi but for the lives of all those horses. The horse was a little close. Was a <laughs> but but these idiot horses, we see it all the time. All of a sudden, they decide they need to make a complete U-turn in traffic. And the so guy. The guy who's trying to drive the horse and buggy is trying to get the horse back on track. No, no. No, it has nothing to do with the horse. The, the guy just takes off in traffic. It's, it, I've seen it a million times. I'm surprised more horses aren't hit by cars in the city. Yeah, mm. they don't obey traffic rules. All of a sudden, it goes, i got to make a U-turn, and just starts its U-turn, assuming everybody else is going to stop and get out of its way. <laughs> All right, well. Terrific on the show today, man. Have a good day. Yeah. I will. Bye, GH. Bye, Kenny. Hey, Kenny, how's traffic, by the way? Uh, it's a little congested where I am now. What about uh, other roads around the area? I don't know. It looks like uh, sunny and dry and clear, so hopefully I'll have a smooth ride home. Well, that's great. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to the bottom of this. Should I let you go, or do you want to just be on hold? Or do you want to just be on the phone? No, I'll listen, but the minute you, you say something wrong, I'm calling back. Okay, that's fair. We'll be watching. If anybody calls, you know, says something out of line. Okay. I don't want to be misrepresented. I wouldn't want to misrepresent you. I wouldn't want to have you misrepresented on this show. Yeah. Yeah. What else, what else could you talk about, though? Well, I mean, we talk a little bit about uh, Evan, who was in here on Friday, the old intern. He told me some... Evan? Evan Seaman? Yeah, he told me some funny stuff about what he's doing now. Uh, we could talk about Twitter and people being blocked. We could talk about uh, the, the little camera attachment that Anthony got on his iPhone today. Uh, there's I have a bunch the of Harry stuff. Harry T thing where he got yeah. yelled at for doing instant feedback. Talk about Harry T. There's a whole bunch of stuff to talk about today. Do you want to talk about the antisocial comedy show at Foxwoods? Talk to me. It's going on sale Friday. Really? Who's going to be on the lineup? Oh, it's a new lineup now. What, who is it? Do you remember? Of course. <laughs> Good. Are you I'm stupid? Well, I'm not going to answer that. All right. Who's the lineup? Well, it's hosted by Jim Norton. Mm-hmm. And it features David Tell, yeah. Marty Lang, yeah. and the newcomer, Nick DiPaolo. That's going to be a great show. It sure is. These antisocial networks... 
Foxwoods is a great place. Yeah, well, I can't. When is that happening? In June 9th. And tickets go on sale Friday? Yes. Be on the lookout for that. Start saving your money now, ladies and gentlemen. Start saving your pennies now. Yeah. All right. Well, Kenny, I'm going to get back to this, but feel free to call in if you feel misrepresented. All right, Sam. Thanks. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much, Kenny. Goodbye. Hey, how's your Sunday afternoon show going? It's gangbusters right now. I mean, last week we had Kurt Schilling and Dr. Ruth on. Last, I mean, yesterday. Kurt Schilling and Dr. Ruth were on. Um... I don't know what's going on this week. We'll probably have an interview or two and some topics. It's it's a, it's a great show. Wow. Yeah. I'm sorry I missed it the last couple Sundays. Well, it, we lacked having you call in, but hopefully you'll be back at it again. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Kenny. How How's your Hits 1 show going? It's going. I mean, if you're into that type of thing, it's just me talking for five to eight seconds between songs about nonsense. Yeah, how's your podcast going? The podcast is going very well. Very well. It's on iTunes. That's good. And how's Troy today? Troy's really good. Troy, uh, I talked to him a little bit. Actually, while your segment was on today, while you were arguing, while you and Sal and E-Rock and Travis and everybody were in here arguing and, and trying to figure out what was going on, I ran out of the studio and ducked into Troy's studio to say, isn't this the greatest thing ever? And Troy said, yes, it's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, Troy's awesome. Did he make any new mixtapes lately? I don't know, but you could check it out on Troy Kwan on Twitter. Thank you, Kenny. I'm going to get back to this now. Wait, wait, wait. What? How's Roland doing? Roland's fine. He was in here a minute ago. He pitched a, a guest that I think we got approval on. It looks like uh, Edge from WWE will be in here tomorrow. It's very exciting. Is he following his diet? You'd have to ask Roland, you know. Well, you don't know? No, I don't know that answer. Oh, what's your problem with Roland all of a sudden? I don't have any problem with Roland. I think he's a great guy. Me and him get along very well. All right, if you say so. <laughs> all right, Kenny, goodbye. Wait, um, do you want some more questions? Nope. See, talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Sometimes you just have to cut him off, Sal. At any point mm -hmm. during today's whole fiasco, did you think to yourself... Why didn't I just keep order getting the food yeah, orders? Oh, <laughs> I should have just kept getting as breakfast. As soon as soon as it started, I thought that. Where's the other intern? Bring get that other intern back in here. Eric. He's coming in. He's answering your phones. Like he's somebody special. Yeah. He should know he's shit under your feet, right, Sal? <laughs> go get your. Him. You go get the fucking food. I've got real work to do. That's what you say to these interns, right? Can I sit down? Is that all right? Sit down. Have yourself a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Eric, this whole time uh, we didn't get the voice of. The other intern, because this whole thing was based. If you didn't hear the argument, definitely. It was uh, like the second segment of the show. The replay starts at 3 p.m. as always, but definitely check it out today because it was. Uh, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, awesome. I th I thought it was horrible. Well, that's because you were at the center of it. <laughs> of course you did. You know why you thought it was horrible? Because the rest of the audience doesn't feel the stress and the oh my god, what did I do? I made the wrong move. Like. Kenny is the worst person on the show to get into an argument. He's calling out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he's, the, he is, he's the worst person on the show to get into an argument with because he did this professionally. First of all, he's a giant. And second of all, he doesn't even have to use his physical stature to win this thing because he was a detective. Uh -huh. he, interrogated, <laughs> he interrogated people for a living. Uh, I'm assuming this is you, Club Soda Kenny. Yeah, I, you better put me on hold because I'm going to go in the Lincoln Tunnel and I'm going to lose the signal. And I want to hear if, God <laughs> forbid, that other kid opens his mouth about me. Okay, I'm going to put you on hold. All right, thanks. Okay. All right, Club City Kenny's on hold. He's, uh, Kenny's always listening, but feel free to speak openly and honestly with me, Eric. First of all, Erock, did you hire this intern simply because... You wanted somebody else with the name Eric? No, not at all. Is that true? I'm 100% positive. Okay, I just wanted to make sure, because people like their own names, and you have a bit of an ego. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. Um, spelled differently, though. How is your name spelled? I got a C, he's got a K. You bet he does. That's right. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> Sal is in here, right, and he's saying, I am, I've been doing this for a while, yes. all right? <laughs> I'm doing production. Mm -hmm. I'm doing all kinds of shit for the show. That's a little bit above food orders. Of course. Why aren't some of these other, as he put it, jamokes? <laughs> I believe. Yeah. Was that the word you used, Sal? I, yeah, it was something along those lines. Jamokes. Why don't one of these 
jamokes, these newbie interns, why don't one of them go down and get a fucking, what he said, fucking food order for a change for once in their meaningless lives? And then God damn it, I think I was like, God damn it. Well, God damn it, I established uh, the first day here that I'm willing to do anything and everything that is asked of me. And, Until it gets asked uh, yeah. a bit too much, and then you sell out a little bit. <laughs> yeah. No, um, no. Did you feel, how did it make you feel as as one of the other interns? To know that Sal was looked at as superior to you and the other guy. Um. Well, you know, as a listener of the show, I had heard Sal on air. You know, my the previous semester. You must have been so. a really close listener. He wasn't on the air that no, much. I, he, no, but uh, you know, I've heard the the fighting amongst the uh, other interns. So, yeah, I you know I I, I knew of Sal when I came here. I yeah. you know he basically showed me the way and how to how to do things because you know when the show's going on, Eric's busy. You know, running the show. So uh, anything going on behind the scenes, Sal's helped me out with and uh, shown me what to do. Because obviously he's a production guy and he's uh, doing a lot for. The yeah, but how did how did it make you feel to know that he was well, simply trusted more than you um, to get food? Because you'd think getting food would not be the most arduous task. I remember when I was an yeah. intern. Ninety eight percent of the time, I did. Uh, I I was gangbusters when it came to getting food. Yeah, well, I didn't want to, you know, I didn't even have the opportunity at that point to uh, see, to show if I was stupid or not. So uh, I didn't, yeah, I didn't. In, well, maybe it, it was, maybe it was your personality that people got a whiff well, of. Well, yeah, I, hey, I'm a nice guy. Come on. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, nice. And I'm, and I'm not a retard, so I, you know. Right. I, I feel like I can fulfill the small duties that are asked of me uh, properly. You know, I can't believe. But then what happened? Uh I, I don't know. I, I guess. Uh, Were you the one who didn't bring the napkins? Yeah, I forgot the napkins. Um, Sal, well, I brought them crumpled in my jacket. Sal, that was you I put think crumpled that was, up napkins yeah, in your I, jacket. Yeah, I put the napkins in the jacket. If you I, were getting a food order from know, somebody, would you want them to pull crumpled up napkins out of their jacket? <laughs> somebody would assume there's a chewed up piece of gum in one of them. Yeah, and well, you know, I had nowhere else to put them. So. Sal, does that disgust you? That's a, that's incredible. Uh, Did he like, put those chewed up napkins in his pocket? I, really I let everyone down that day. Did you I ever really miss did. the napkins, Sal? Uh, maybe like once early on. Yeah. But, uh, no. Rookie move. Well, that was Rookie. my first run for coffees on my own in the morning. So it was kind of you, you, you panicked. You, you don't use napkins. No, I don't use napkins. Unless they're crumpled up in your That's pocket. Right, yeah, and you're just handing them off to somebody. So, yeah. did you realize ahead, did you realize before all this happened mm -hmm. that Club Soda Kenny valued Sal's skills as a food getter far more than yours? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, it was obvious because he was always, Sal was always asked. How did that uh, make you feel? Um, not bad. I understood the comfortability uh, with Sal, so I, you know, I didn't really... But there wasn't any, like, need to, hey, I want to step up and prove that I can do this, too. Um, well, yeah, of course. I, I, you know, I was always willing, but, you know, the comfortability factor and... Yeah, you could be else. as willing as, as anybody, yeah. but it's a matter of, on the other end, if Kenny wants to... But why don't you step up coach. and say, hey, Kenny, um, put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. No, 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 no. You, you don't, Today. You don't talk to Kenny. Yeah. Kenny talks to you. That's the way it is. Yeah. Why? Yes. You could talk to Kenny. He's a person. So, so you don't and, think so, Sal? Well, no, no. Kenny, Kenny, you know, when you're talking with Kenny, he's great, but... You don't need to bother him with whatever bullshit that. An but you can't can. be like, "Hey, let me have a shot at this one, K Dog." No. <laughs> yeah, from, you ever the called? The impression that I got from the beginning was no. I, it, you know, wait to be asked. Who told you that? I. It was just. Oh, it was just how I. How I'm a. I'm a viewer and an observer, and that's how I observed. That's how you perceived and, it? Yes, absolutely. What What did you base that perception on? Um. Well, that I guess. You know, Kenny would go up to Sal and give him the order and, or give him the card. And then he and you're just like, hey, man, yeah. if he's getting the food, it's cool with me, bro. Well, at that time, I was also hopping on the, the phones because uh, Paul wasn't here full time. So I was hopping on the phones. He, he's sometimes. not here full time now. He didn't even oh. show up again today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When was the last time he did yeah. a full week, full time? I, 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 Paul's probably <laughs> listening, though. Oh, Is well. he? He's always listening to the after show. He should. So should everybody. Yeah. It's a great show. Um he actually only listens to the after show because he just in case there's any Paul mentions. Hey, yeah. Colin. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> now he knows who Paul is. Um, well, this guy in Flint, Michigan, wrote on the instant feedback: "Whoever is the intern that answers the phones is awkward. He just answers with O and A. If you've never called, you don't know to say your name and where you're from. Is that uh, you? No, e I go. I say E to the Rick. No, I say O and A. What you got? And then when they tell me, I go. All right, what's your name? Where are you from? That's, That's just a different method. Yeah, it's yeah." 
Everybody's got to understand it. I think I followed. I, I think I observed Paul doing that. So I think that's you don't want to. Do. Don't take well, anything. I know. But he, <laughs> you don't well, want to. He's the phone guy. So I was like, you know what? Think I about guess. it this way. Um, yeah. Paul has been here. Same. I mean, Paul's been here way longer than Sal. Technically, yeah. I mean, he started before. So who's made more of an impact for you as a listener? Well, who are you more familiar with in the in last semester? Yeah. When both Paul and Sal were here. Mm -hmm. Who were you as a listener more familiar with? Uh, I, I'd say Sal. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then once you got here yeah. and you observed for a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. who would you say gets more shit done? Uh, I'd, I'd say Sal. Okay. Oh, hotline. <laughs> That's oh, on wait. The... No, he doesn't have the hotline number. He, no doesn't, he doesn't have the hotline. Is that right? Yeah. Paul doesn't have the hotline yeah, number? Yeah, Paul's been giving me shit lately, so I, I don't mind giving a little... Eric, yeah. Eric, yeah. write all this stuff down. <laughs> this stuff is gold. Um, so you're okay being a second tier intern? Sure. Um, um, yeah, I know my place, and, you know. Do you think, now that this has been laid out, everything is crystal clear, yeah. Sal is simply too valuable to go on food runs? Now that that's been established, uh, yeah. <laughs> he's simply too valuable to the show to do that. And that was actually established by Sal. He found, <laughs> well, he said, sure. I am too valuable to do that. Now sure. that that's been, that's sort of the law of the land. Yeah. Do you? How do you feel? As in, you're now you're the guy who go gets food runs because you're not nearly as valuable as Sal. Well, you know, like I said, I know that's the law. I, that's I not know, me. But I, like I know Sal is willing to help, but I also know Sal has a lot more on his plate than I do, and yeah. I don't mind doing those things. I really don't. I got all these chicks out here. They're like, so wow. They're all, you know, is that Sal the intern? That's yeah. me. He yeah. used to get food. Should I, should I start like <laughs> crooning them or something? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Just pick up the mic and be like, hello. I wonder what they're all looking at. There's I one mean, guy. I mean, we're doing radio here so you know is I'm, that exciting to you <laughs> you're excited yourself yeah, yeah. are you do you eric you're a fan of the show i guess i sure am so while you're sitting in here yeah. the whole time are you going holy shit i'm on the air holy shit i'm on no, the air no um well, have I, you thought about the fact that you're on the air right now no have I, you thought about the fact that just like you like yeah. you were just a fan um you know like 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 marky mark Wahlberg yes. in the film rock star sure and you were just That's sitting like there me. in the crowd going stand up and shout <laughs> You know what I mean? And now you're on you're on stage with was it Steel Dragon? Uh, yeah, Steel Dragon. Steel, yeah, yeah. You're on stage with Steel Dragon, and there is a uh, an arena full of people, multiple arenas full of people hanging on your every word. Is he gonna be able to get food? They all care so deeply. That's right. Um, no, I'm not too. You know, this. I, I sure as a listener, it's uh, it's an honor to be on air, but. I, I was also on air. I was on the couch of Zilches over the summer, so I got on air a little bit with you uh, for the after show one time. So is that uh, right? You didn't right. make a big impact. And no, I, I will say I that. Not at all. I do, a, and I do a stupid college radio show, so I'm used to being in front of a mic. Are you getting, trying to get plugs out? Oh, You're yes, used right. to. Yes, I'm right. used to being in front of a mic. Yeah, but the only difference well, I is I want to bring my the, listenership. The up difference. By one, the difference is. As much as you're used to being in front of a mic, yes. the other side of this mic has people listening. Yeah, Whereas exactly. your you college right. radio show, right. nobody. Whereas it's like, yeah, you know, I'll tell my mom to tune in or something because no one else listens, you know? So, yep. what do you think of this guy? He's I, already, no, to I, me, he's a little cocky. No, no, I, I really, I genuinely <laughs> like Eric. He's a cool dude. Thank you. Me, me and Eric spoke more in our first day of meeting each other than I did with, um... The other one. What was his name? Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. Julian, Julian. You had a really shitty intern with you. Oh, did I? And yes. you hated him. Oh, I loved him. Uh, so, so now, what about the other intern who's not here today? Uh, the yeah, one who's way cool. too old to be an intern. He's just like nothing, right? Yeah, I mean, I I only work with him once a week. Is so. he going to be able to get food done? Do you think, Eric? I don't. I, he's done, I think, he's I done think, it. Yeah, sure. Is he all right at it, yeah, Eric? He's fine at it. Erock. Yeah. Yeah. When I get coffees, he gets the food. Let me he ask got you. Got a little thing worked out. Erock, the sex man. Who is better at food? This Eric, or what's the other one's name? Michael. Mike. Mark Cuban. Mark Cuban. Mark Cuban. Roland, <laughs> Roland is trying to get that to catch on. Who's better at food between those two interns? Um, I'd say it's about even with those two. Uh, there's been oh. no, there's been no pro other than the napkin incident. There's, yeah. uh, as far as I'm aware. Wait, 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 wait. There's been one problem, and it's been the napkin incident. The that napkin incident. Then I would food. say Mike would be better than that you. That was coffee, though. That wasn't even food. That oh, coffee. that's coffee is almost, you know. That was coffee. Listen, coffee's top tier. You got grown ass. Uh, you got some. That makes it even worse. You got grown ass men <laughs> right. who are sitting here at six o'clock in the morning trying to entertain some people. Yeah. I think they might be a little bit reliant on that cup of coffee. Well, they got the coffee. They just didn't get the napkin. What happens if the they problem. spill a little? I know. Well, they, it was crumpled. You know. 
in right. your pocket. Hey, yeah. let me get you one out of my pocket. Yeah, that's that... snot on it. <laughs> exactly, it's disgusting. <laughs> well, I just threw it in there last second, and as soon as I pulled them out, I knew I was ugh, in deep shit. Yeah, yeah. Eric, um, yeah. you uh, got you. Which, wait, which one? Hey, Erock, right. sorry, the sex man. I'll yeah. call you for short, sex man. Uh, you got heated today. Yeah, because you got frustrated. Yeah, because I think this this whole thing had gone way too far when it didn't need to. That's... But that's the beauty of this. I know. <laughs> we take I'm it not, to there. It's not like I'm surprised by it either. It's just, you know, it's, it, this is something that just, I don't know, should not have gotten to this level. But you know what? Yeah. Maybe it shouldn't have gotten to this level, but this is the type of thing that whether people will admit it or not, and this happens to everybody, all you out there, <clears throat> this happens to you in your daily lives. It's these little things that don't actually matter that absolutely fester and fester and within a person yeah. until something happens. So it's much better that we tackle this on the level for what it is than we let it fester and resentments. No, I, and I, Sal I, walks around here and he starts requesting a director's chair or whatever else he needs. <laughs> hey, I understand this intern's going to get Opie and Anthony's coffee, but who's getting the Sal manager drink <laughs> or something? Huh? How do you expect me to stay up and... Uh, hey, hey, Eric, yeah. while you're going out... Why don't you fetch me a little something? Make sure there's two yeah. sugars in it, not yeah. one. I like it sweet. That's right. Oh, that's good. Um, Eric, does it frustrate you because you have to explain yourself on such a uh, no, like it, you're being it, questioned? It, no, it frustrates me because I'm not trying to get anyone in trouble here. Except I'm trying you said to make you told sure. Kenny that I I was the one who went to Gary. That bothered you somewhat. I'm hey, not gonna lie to him. It definitely bothered. You did, though. I didn't know at that time. No, I but said you said that see, already. Take everything that e done to help you, which I think right. you're bullshitting no, no, no. a little bit. But everything that e done, I don't think he's done much. But everything that e done to help you, take it out of the equation. Right. It annoyed you that he assumed. Oh, no, it still still definitely annoys me. Right. But like I said, Eric has hooked me up plenty of times, so it's 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 all good. You know yeah. what I mean? It, it's it's fine. And essentially, You're willing to look past. Essentially, by him making that statement it would only create a bad blood between me and kenny which i f wished and hope still to right to this moment in time that it would well, develop over time i will say off the air there yeah. was a handshake that went down between sal and yes, club soda kenny there was and there that was. was a beautiful thing to see yeah and um, I, I feel i feel much better about it now eric you started shouting at kenny though do you have the clip of that uh hold on how long is it uh 30 well there's two versions there's 17 and 33 yeah, just give me the short one. Just as E Rock, he was uh, Kenny was questioning on some shit, and uh, E Rock again, he was making assumptions, and that's where you know that's where Kenny was misinformed. But this is E Rock now screaming back at Kenny. What? Stop playing stupid. You're not that shit. dumb, Kenny. I don't care about any of this. I'm right, trying to you work care, with you here Just on tell this. the truth. Give me the. You don't want to say because oh. the guy's standing right next to you. I said Sal early, and you said no. no. <laughs> is that E Rock? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sound like a girl. <laughs> Your voice does go up a few octaves when you get upset. Yeah. Um, what we, does this make your life more difficult? Because you are the man who was named intern boss when all of the others te and the reason, as you said, yeah. the reason that you were named intern boss is because every single other person on the staff failed at it. <laughs> like we all failed. You were the one person who was left. Yeah. Does it make your life d more difficult? At Steve Sterniolo is outside the window pointing at, at his head. We have other things to deal with than the fact I'm wearing a hat. Yeah. Breaking news, I have a hat on. Yeah. Oh, boy. I didn't now, this morning. back to what we were talking about before I was rudely interrupted by that moron. Um, I like Steve. You, well, he's an idiot. you got to admit that. Eric, does it make your life difficult? Like with management and stuff, because you're the intern boss, and there was an intern incident that exploded and spilled over on the air. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously it does, especially you know when you have to be in charge of, of some people. But I was trying to do everything I possibly could to make sure it never got to that level. And that's why you started. You got frustrated because I don't want. Sh I, this is just. This is again. This is something that shouldn't have happened, mm -hmm. and nobody should be arguing over this stuff. I mean, this is a non-issue that blew up into a big issue. And Maybe. I'm sitting there, and I did all I possibly could, other than make, you know, accept the assumption, which I apologized to Kenny, um, that he got upset with, and it caused well, other problems. But it wasn't malicious, I wasn't lying what at we, that time, that's what I w was meant to believe. What have we learned from this? We'll start with you, Eric. What have we learned? Which, Eric? Me? Yes, okay. E-Rock the sex man. I learned that 
I don't know what I learned. I just learned. I just don't want to piss Kenny off anymore. <laughs> I really don't. I try so hard to just make sure everything is smoothed out. Well, then I think you've learned not to make assumptions, haven't we? Nah, at that time it, it's haven't we? No, no, no. <laughs> uh, Sal, what if? So Eric, you've learned nothing. Sal, what have you learned? Uh, a lot of stuff, actually. Like, what's the big thing? What's the number what's, one thing? Uh, well, I guess just you have to be very careful in everything that you say and everything that you do because honestly like you know he was talking before about how he's thinking about what all the listeners are thinking right now yeah. the entire time i was in here with the ona today mm -hmm. all i could think about is if i was listening to this shit right now i would turn the radio off and if ona approve it that's that's great but mm -hmm. i just think that like this is such a bullshit issue i would listen blown into something. i would listen to that bit uh uh the, the whole uh break yeah the, seven times today yeah. no Ugh. and i probably will go home Sal, and do there's that. been worse fights on this show that people just rave about to this day right and, i know but it's, it's such a bullshit thing you know? eric the intern i'm gonna assume you've learned nothing because uh, you, you strike me as kind of a dull guy well, I, i'm not a dull guy come on i learned that a crumpled napkin is not a kind napkin folks you see what i mean he's not a, he's not come a, on. he's that's, not sharp that's the kind of uh it's a unique styling you hear on his radio show. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, again, yeah. he would have been one of my picks yeah. for sure.